What is good? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a couple of things at Tacoma to get ready for the Atlantic City Truck Show this weekend. First thing I'm going to be doing is making a custom bed liner using these stall mats, some extra flooring my friend had, and just some glue to glue it down. So we're going to get these cut, get the stall mats in the right size to fit the bed, and we're going to glue this down and see how that comes out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is measure and cut these to size. To get the correct angle here for the wheel well, I'm just gonna be using this tool, I don't even know what it's called. Put it right there on the angle. It'll give you the perfect angle so there's no guessing games here. If you got these anchors in your bed, you go four and a half inches over, four and a half inches down or up. All right, so I'm done cutting out the stall mats. What I did here was just lay it on top of the vinyl sheet flooring here. I'm gonna just cut out the stencil here, glue it on top and see how it looks. All right, so that is it cut out. Laid on top of these stall mats. We got some little finishing edges to do. I'm gonna glue it on. With this 3M spray glue and get it put in there. Just press it on, make sure it gets maximum surface area on there try to minimize bubbles and then we're going to roll it back the other way and glue that side all right so before i go any further i just want to explain why i use the materials i did to make my bed liner. I wanted to use the stall mats because if you're standing on it, it would be quiet, kind of dead in the noise. I know if I used wood uh, and anything got under it, sand or anything, it would crinkle a lot and that would just bother me personally. Um, also, I wanted it to be waterproof in case it got wet, wood would warp and the corners would probably start to pull up. So that's why I wanted to use the stall mats. Why did I use three? I couldn't find one big enough at any of my local stores, Home Depot or Tractor Supply, and they had three. I was crunched for time, so I just went and used the three. Um, I didn't get any videos of it because I was crunched for time, like I said before, before the show. However, um, when I put it in the bed, because I used three stall mats and because stall mats are flimsy, um, it got a couple bubbles in it, and I basically just kind of messed it all up. I started like cutting it, glued it down. So it did look good for the show. Um, I did wind up winning top 20 in the show field at the Atlantic City Truck Show, which was cool. Um, I had two bean bags up there that I was sitting in uh, with the cooler, everything was good. However, since then this thing has like self-destructed. Um, probably because the glue wasn't good enough that I used that 3M, so maybe I'll use something else. And because it got bubbles in it, uh, pretty much as soon as I put it in, um, because it bent when I was putting it in, which I kind of knew was gonna happen, but whatever. So now I'm gonna try to use something else. I'm gonna have to get new, new flooring, use um, something else. I'm thinking maybe plexiglass. I wanna keep it waterproof, but um, that's where we're at for now. So it was kind of a fail. It lasted for the day but the whole thing got pretty destroyed. I'll give you a closer look here. All right, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas on a different method I should use for this bed liner, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always.